All right, first set, I'm going to go for 315 for three reps. Blech. All right, some of you weightlifters are probably wondering what the hell my spotter was doing at the beginning of my first rep. Well, I'll tell you what he did. Like, look at his arms. Why are his arms on the bar as I'm going down? It's like he's helping me with a negative. What the hell? Uh, he almost messed my setup. He let go right as I was about to touch my chest, so he nearly messed me up. So this is a uh, example of bad spotting. But I did get three reps. I Well, I was at least able to push three reps. But, yeah, he almost messed up my entire set. So do not spot like him. Lift it up over your chest, then let go, and if you're struggling, then you touch the weight. Or if the person says, I need help, then that's when you spot them. But don't spot like this guy. All right, for this set, I'm going to go for 320, so I just added two 2.5s on each side. So let's see if I can get two clean reps on this set. Well, this set, my spotter used really good spotting technique. He lifted it up over my chest and then he let me do the weight on my own. But then on the third rep, I failed completely and I said, help. That's an example of a good spot. When I said help, he lifted the weight up, and he helped help me lift the weight up. That's a good example of a spot. Uh, that's a good spotter right there. That's a good spot. Good spot technique. Good job, spotter. The guy that spotted me doing decline. Thank you, Jared. I feel honored. Ah, uh, that was a little joke. All right. Anyways, see you next workout. Ah.